The question you might ask yourself is, why do we suffer from aging? Well, the theory of antagonistic pleiotropy tries to answer this. According to this theory, one sad truth explains the emergence of aging for almost all animals. In nature, all organisms suffer from exterior causes of mortality, such as predation, diseases, accidents, or food shortage. And in our societies, we forgot how important they are. Just 300 years ago, the human life expectancy was about 25 years and half of newborns died before their 5 years. So, animals just don't have the time to get old in nature. We can suppose that if an individual would age fast, but had another evolutive advantage, then his characters would be selected during the evolution. According to the theory of antagonistic pleiotropy, such mutations could explain aging. Let's see with an example. Here we have two breeds of monkeys. The type 1, which dies of aging at 20 years and may have 10 children a year, and the type 2, which dies of old age after one year but can have twice more children. Let's suppose they have a 80% mortality rate each year, which means that only 20% of them could survive and have children after one year. In this graph we can see that the type 2 monkeys would have in average 4 children after one year, but all of them would die after. The type 1 monkeys could have only 2 children the first year. Some of them could survive longer, but they would be so few that they could never have as much children as the type 2. So, we have seen that aging could have been selected, not because it's helpful for species, but simply because it doesn't impact very much the individual's fitness.